Hello all, Deepesh here. Today, let's talk about the origins of modern operating systems. In the beginning, there were punch cards. These simple pieces of stiff paper were the foundation of early computing. These cards were the unsung heroes of early computing, silently carrying out complex instructions. Imagine a time when computers understood only holes punched in specific patterns. Each hole represented a binary decision, a one or a zero. Each card represented a single instruction or piece of data, meticulously crafted by programmers. These cards were fed into massive machines, which were the size of entire rooms. The computers then processed them one by one, methodically interpreting each punched hole. It was, well, a slow and tedious process, requiring patience and precision. Imagine waiting hours, sometimes even days, for a single program to run and produce results. There were many limitations with this system, making it far from perfect. One major drawback was the physical nature of the cards. They were fragile and prone to damage. They could be damaged or lost easily, causing significant setbacks in computing tasks. Another problem was the lack of flexibility. Making changes to a program meant repunching entire cards, a laborious task. Making changes to a program meant repunching entire cards, which was time consuming and error prone. Early computing was a far cry from the speed and convenience we enjoy today. The evolution from punch cards to modern computers is a testament to human ingenuity and technological progress. As computers evolved, so did the need for efficiency. Running one program at a time was no longer practical. The concept of multitasking emerged, revolutionizing the computing landscape. Imagine a chef juggling multiple dishes at once. That's similar to what multitasking does for computers. It allows them to run multiple programs seemingly simultaneously. The key here is seemingly. In reality, the computer still processes one task at a time but it switches between them incredibly fast. This rapid switching creates the illusion of parallelism. It dramatically improves efficiency and throughput. Users can now run multiple applications without waiting for each one to finish completely. With multitasking came the need for a conductor, an entity to manage these concurrent tasks. This is where operating systems, or OS, stepped in. Think of an OS as the maestro of an orchestra. It ensures every instrument plays its part harmoniously. Similarly, an OS manages all the hardware and software resources of a computer system. This includes the processor, memory, storage, and peripherals. The OS acts as an intermediary between the user and the hardware. It provides a user-friendly interface and handles the complexities of hardware interaction. Without an OS, interacting with a computer would be like trying to conduct an orchestra without knowing a single note. Modern operating systems excel at abstraction. They hide the complexities of the underlying hardware and present a simplified view to the user. Think of it as magic, making the intricate workings of a computer disappear behind a curtain of user-friendliness. This abstraction is achieved through several key components, virtual memory, virtual file systems, process management, and I.O. management. These components work together seamlessly, creating a powerful and efficient computing environment. Section 5. Memory Magic. Delving into virtual memory. Virtual memory is one of the most ingenious concepts in operating systems. It allows computers to run programs larger than their physical memory. Imagine having a small desk, but needing to work with a mountain of paperwork. That's the challenge computers face with limited memory. Virtual memory solves this by using disk space as an extension of RAM. It's like having a magical filing cabinet that expands your desk space. The OS cleverly swaps data between RAM and the hard drive, giving the illusion of a much larger memory capacity. This enables us to run memory-intensive applications smoothly, even on systems with limited RAM. Section 6. The File System. Illusion. 
Organizing data effectively. Ever wondered how your computer organizes the millions of files it stores? It's a fascinating process that happens behind the scenes. That's the role of the file system, another crucial aspect of an OS. It ensures that every file is stored in a way that makes it easy to retrieve. Think of the file system as a giant library with a sophisticated cataloging system. Just like a librarian knows where every book is, the file system knows where every file is stored. It organizes files into directories and subdirectories, making it easy to locate and manage them. This hierarchical structure is essential for efficiency. Without a file system, our digital world would be chaotic, with data scattered haphazardly. Imagine trying to find a single document in a sea of unorganized files. The file system provides a logical view of the data stored on a disk. It abstracts the physical storage details, allowing users to interact with data seamlessly. It hides the physical location of files and presents them in a hierarchical structure, making them easily accessible to users and applications. This organization is what makes modern computing so powerful and user-friendly. Section 7. Juggling Act. The Art of Process Management. Modern computers are masters of multitasking, running numerous processes concurrently. Managing these processes efficiently is the responsibility of the OS. Imagine a juggler keeping multiple balls in the air simultaneously. That's the essence of process management. The OS allocates system resources like CPU time, memory, and I.O. devices to each process, ensuring they run smoothly without interfering with each other. It also handles process creation, termination, and communication. Process management is crucial for system stability and responsiveness. It ensures that one misbehaving program doesn't bring the entire system to a grinding halt. Section 8. Input, Output, and Everything in Between. I.O. Management. Input and Output, or I.O. Operations are the backbone of how we interact with computers. Every keystroke, mouse click, and file save involves I.O. The OS acts as the intermediary for these interactions. It manages the communication between the CPU and various input and output devices like keyboards, mice, printers, and network adapters. Think of I.O. management as a translator, facilitating communication between the computer and the outside world. It ensures that data is transferred correctly and efficiently between devices with varying speeds and protocols. Section 9. Speaking the same language. The significance of POSIX standards. Imagine a world where every computer spoke a different language. Communication would be nearly impossible. That's the challenge that POSIX standards addressed in the realm of operating systems. POSIX, short for Portable Operating System Interface, defines a set of standards for operating system interfaces. This ensures that software written for one POSIX-compliant OS can be easily ported to another. These standards promote software portability, interoperability, and developer productivity. Thanks to POSIX, developers can write code without worrying about the specific details of the underlying OS, saving time and effort. Section 10. From punch cards to pixel-perfect screens. A journey through time. The evolution of operating systems has been nothing short of remarkable, showcasing the rapid advancements in technology over the decades. From the rudimentary punch card systems, which required meticulous manual input, to the sophisticated OS we use today, it has been a journey of increased efficiency, flexibility, and user-friendliness. Each step forward has brought about significant improvements in how we interact with computers. Operating systems have played a pivotal role in shaping the computing landscape, acting as the bridge between hardware and user, enabling seamless communication and functionality. They have democratized access to technology, 
making it possible for billions of people worldwide to harness the power of computers. This widespread accessibility has transformed industries, education and daily life, bringing the world closer together. As technology continues to advance, we can expect operating systems to evolve even further, becoming even more powerful, intuitive and seamlessly integrated into our lives. The future holds exciting possibilities, from AI-driven interfaces to fully immersive virtual environments. From the clunky interfaces of the past to the sleek, touch-sensitive screens of today, the journey of operating systems is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of progress. This evolution reflects our desire to create tools that enhance our capabilities and improve our quality of life.